What's up everybody? It's Eddie here from Blackstone Labs Review here in New Jersey, okay? And today we are gonna talk about, you ready? D-M-A side effects, bitches. <laughs> All right, I wanted to make a video about da 13 demimethylene the side effects, because I'm starting to notice there are side effects to this product when you take it a little too much, okay? So let me, hold on, let me put this down for a minute. Bam, I'm back, what's up? So listen, this is what's, basically with demimethylene, you gotta be careful, guys and girls, okay? What I'm gonna do is, how do I explain it? All right, first of all, let me just say one thing I've learned. Life without caffeine sucks <laughs> Dude, girls and guys i want to tell you i have been on a kick with no caffeine because i'm trying to clean out my receptors so that way when i go back to training on october 5th with everything i can start to feel the pre-workouts when they're kicking in and everything so i'm trying right now no caffeine i've had no coffee no nothing for five days and i'm going fucking nuts mood swings headaches just all kinds of shit when you don't when you give up caffeine you're gonna see in the beginning you're gonna have a lot of issues for maybe like a few maybe five to seven days and have that boom it switch, shit switches over and then you feel a little bit better but in the beginning you will get headaches and get moody and get over it but the point is to clean out your system so when you go back to training anything you take you will feel all right so now boom let's go into the dmaa story let's see what i got here all right but whew, let me i'm just trying to figure out how to say this because remember i don't script anything i just go by what the hell i feel in my head when i'm feeling it so let's see we're gonna go like this okay with the demimethylene, what happens, what I notice is, this is my story, my opinions, this might not happen to you, or, or if you're a girl, a guy, whatever, just this is my opinion, and I'm just telling you what the fuck happened to me while I was on it, and it's not just that, this is, I take other DMA products, not just this delicious one right here that I drink every day for breakfast. Mmm, no, look, look, mm. I drink Demi Lemon <laughs> Methylene for lunch, bitches. <laughs> look at this cup, that shit is the bomb. This is actually got Demi Methylene in Dust Extreme, that's just one of them and that's still my favorite one but there are other ones that i do have that are pretty cool too and work eh, okay but dust extreme is still the one that's got a fucking kick to it that makes you feel really awesome all right so but between all the demi blah 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 methylene products I'm, you know what i'm gonna get into it all right i'm gonna tell you my story as to what can happen to you guy or girl all right these are gonna be the side effects and the symptoms as to what can happen first of all what happens in the beginning when you start taking it, if you've never taken demi methylene before you're gonna feel like superman or supergirl whatever the hell you want to be or Hulk, all right? What's gonna happen is in the beginning, you're gonna get strong as hell, you're gonna feel like you're high as hell, happy as hell, and basically, demimethylene is like a drug. It's it's natural for us to take it because they can sell it, but when you when I take it, it feels almost like a Vyvanse or an Adderall, the study medication. So when I used to take those back in the day, they got you to a certain level of highness of focus that you just felt like you were unstoppable and you can get shit done. That's basically what demimethylene does. The same thing, it gets you freaking amped up, strong as hell oh and it suppresses appetite so that's why you see it in a lot of weight loss products now they're going to start doing that so it's just an awesome feeling that you get but if you keep taking it too much you will wear the effects off and then it won't work as, as well okay so my story was in the beginning the first week boom everything was awesome working all the time blah, blah, blah. second week same thing going in the gym pow, 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 just repping it out feeling fucking awesome then here comes the side effects by the third week from taking it too much there was just issues like um okay one of the issues you're going to feel boy whoo tired as hell when the crash starts to come down because now your body's adjusted to it so what's gonna happen is you're gonna crash and wonder what the hell's wrong so you might go to bed like let's say at 9 p.m tonight you ain't gonna wake up till 9 a.m tomorrow like a 12 hour sleep you're gonna be in a deep sleep because something with demimethylene there's something that i've noticed not just me but i've been talking to other people you crash real hard after being on it for a long time so the trick is try not to be on it all the time okay uh so anyways let me keep going so what happens is you're either gonna crash all the time or what's the other issues i had oh here we go you ready this one you're gonna like all right, so the wife comes to me. This is now, what, the, the around the third week I noticed this happened to me, and she comes by with her little Hello Kitty, and she's like, hey, hey, baby, I want some wieners. I want some, give me a banana. And I'm like, oh shit, no problem, baby. So I come along, and I'm like, oh, what's up, what's up, what's up? And then that shit just says, bam! And I'm like, yo, what the fuck is going on? And I'm like, this shit ain't never happened before. So, right, so I start watching the patterns, right? And I'm like, yo, what the fuck is going on? Now I'm getting nervous as shit, right? So the next week, what happens is, I said, let me, let me just test this out. So what I did was, I took other pre-workouts that didn't have demimethylene in it on the days that I, like I say, I was doing legs or something, right? And it didn't have demimethylene? No problem. Smash, smash, no problem with the wife, okay? Now, test it out again with demimethylene. Hey, baby, give me some of that. I was like, all right, what's up, girl, what's up, girl? Bam, falls right back down. I'm like, yo, what the hell? I did this again for the third time just to test it out with the demimethylene, and I have found out that that's what happens. You, your brain, hold on one second. 
your brain is so focused while on this that you don't even want to be bothered with sex. <laughs> what happens is you're so focused you want to get shit done that when it comes to that, your mind is just thinking about all the shit that you can do that you're not even interested in that. And that's a scary thing. So that started scaring me. And I've been talking to other guys who said the same thing. For girls who are taking demimethylene, the only thing I've heard of is uh, the crash with the, with the sleepies. That's about all I've heard with women. But for men, I have heard the crash and then the burn, which is the... Come on! <laughs> Up, then down. Super soft. <laughs> so that's what I've been hearing. And so like I said, I tested it out. After the third week, wiener issues while on it. On the day that I took the product, issues with the wife. Uh, if I took a pre-workout the next day that didn't have demimethylene, boing, no problem. Can do, all right? So this is just side effects that I've been going through and I have been talking to other guys, all right? And other guys have told me, yes, they're going through the crash of the sleepies. Not everybody's going through the wiener issue, but so I think it's just some guys are having the issue with it. And I don't know if it's because we're taking too much for a certain amount of time, so it might be that. Anyways, long story short, those are just the side effects that I'm trying to approach to you right now. And now we're gonna go on to basically what happens with demimethylene too. You gotta be careful, you can get hooked. What will happen is if you get hooked on demimethylene, you ready for this? No other pre-workout will ever be the same for you. You will get on demimethylene and then what's gonna happen is it's gonna feel so good that when you go to try another regular pre-workout, you'll be like, fuck this shit, man, that ain't the same. So what you need to do is you need to make a pattern and just, I hate to tell you, but do it this way. Like, okay, boom, dust, V2, all right? Take this on leg day, all right? That way you got this, you use this on leg day, it doesn't have the demimethylene. Then when you do upper body, Boom, take the fucking dust extreme with the demimethylene. What you're trying to do is not get your body adjusted to demimethylene, so that way every time you take it, you get amped up and feel like Superman, get the strength and still fucking can rep out and feel good. But you are taking the chances with the side effects if you take more than, I would say one to three times a week is safe. Me, I was so amped up on this shit and it was so good that I was like doing, working out three, four times a week and then taking full scoops and maybe a little bit more than I should have than one and a half scoops. So that might be it, but usually it was just one scoop, and, but still there were side effects for me. Maybe it's because I'm older. And I'm drooling. Shit. I don't know. You know, like, like I said, I'm going to be 45. So it might be that my age factor, but there are younger guys that I've talked to and got the wiener issue. Not just from, not this, just demimethylene in general. It's not the dust extreme. Demimethylene in general has what's been causing issues. So when I tell people after about four weeks, if let's say, for instance, now you tell me, oh man, nothing's working anymore. I can't feel nothing. Just take the demon dust, the demon, the demon, the demon juice. All right. This shit right here, no matter why, if you can't feel nothing anymore and you're having issues with, with pre works and they're not working, just jump to psychotic. Take yourself a nice scoop of this bitch and you will fucking be flying around the gym no matter what. For some reason, I have found out that psychotic, okay, by Insane Labs, no matter what, if there's an issue where I can't feel pre-workouts no more, then I know it's for me time for me to come off. But if I can't feel nothing no more, and I know it's a, a week that I'm, I got my last week of training before I take off from caffeine, I take this, no matter what, the shit always works. It does shit to you that is a little crazy, but hey, you deal with it. It's a pre-workout that's going to make you fucking psychotic, <laughs> all right? So that's my story for today. And basically, since now I've been caffeine free, cleaning on my receptors all right so that way i let you all know my training will start october 5th for a body transformation all right because i was waiting for my arm to heal and like i said most of the time i've been training i've been basically legs which is now i got a big ass and big thighs so that's about it my arms are a little not too big but my chest and everything's coming out a little bit but like i said october 5th the new channel will come out and i'll reveal to you the name and everything will come out with that and yada yada long story short you'll start to see my body transformation i'll make a video every day about what i do and what i take and i'll show you guys and girls exactly what i'm doing this is what i took yesterday this is a non-stimulant pre-workout hold on i need a sip of my mm, demimethylene hold on mm. anyways this video has been going on too long but what i'm trying to say is you take shit like that that's a non-stimulant on the days that you are cleaning out your system like right now it's october 5th i'm cleaning out my system which i'm going crazy with no caffeine so but i take that as a non-stimulant just to help me get through the workouts which makes it a little bit easier because when you're squatting heavy and you don't got no pre-workout it's it's pretty hard and especially most of the guys i know are on steroids man they don't even need pre-workout man they got it made <laughs> all right so during the week that i that i'm all, like the two weeks that i'm off right now with no pre-workout this is what i do check it out bam <clears throat> excuse me lord uh the raw fiber it's an organic fiber what i do is i clean out my system for about the two weeks to get the caffeine the toxins everything out of my body so when i go back boom everything works fresh for the next four weeks when i go into mad dog crazy situation heavy lifting so that way it's just basically you want to get the crap out of your body believe me people think just by taking healthy stuff and all this everything's always good 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 not nah, doesn't work like that sometimes you're putting shit in your body that can damage your, your system and basically with demimethylene and all these pre-workouts you're putting in your body these are things that can damage your central nervous system so just be careful all right do it in moderation. I've learned that now 
it's basically moderation or switch up to something else like I was just telling you before. All right, so this is to clean your freaking butthole, clean out your, the toxins in your body, the parasites and all that, and just get some damn fiber in your system. People don't realize it. You need fiber in your system, especially guys and girls who are ODing on fucking protein, all right? People don't realize that you just keep dumping protein, protein, protein in your body. That's not just what your body's craving. It also wants fiber, right? That's just a quick tip for me, all right? So that's my damn video for today. And I just wanted to say to everybody on my channel, I love you all. I've hit over 300 subscribers and I want to say thank you. I appreciate you all. And what else can I say? Um, I know I haven't been around for a while and I, I know you all, everybody's been like, yo, where the fuck you been, Eddie? Oh God, it, I can't even describe. Between trying to design logos, between designing the shirts, creating the channel, figuring my meal plans, trying to put shit together, family issues, yada yada, one thing after another, and I'm just like, you know what, I miss making videos, I miss connecting with all of you, alright, so, just be patient with me, just trying to get the shit done, and when it's finally done, I'll announce it when the, the, the channel's finally up, like I said, by October 5th, and we'll go from there, and then you guys can see the new transformation I'm gonna do, and I will reveal to you every fucking product, every meal, what I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis, and you guys are gonna follow me to the gym, and I'm just gonna do whatever it takes to make that new channel my brand, alright, and we're gonna go from there, what else can I say, uh, I guess that's fucking it for today, all right? So I just want to say I love you all. I'm sorry the video went so long again. You know how I get. I get so fucking amped up and excited sometimes. I can't shut the fuck up, all right? So Ed here from Blackstone Labs Review. If you thought this video was important, please thumbs it up. If you're new to my channel, fucking subscribe, bitches. And don't forget, comment below. And guess who loves you? woo -wee! I do, all right? Oh, what's up? Oh, yeah, I want to say, hey, Chris, I told you I'd make a video. <laughs> I was supposed to make it the other day on freaking Tuesday, but again, Fucking, my son drives me crazy. I want to choke that kid. I love him dearly, but he did something that just mm, messed up my whole day. And I just want to just, like I said, I want to strike him, but I love my son. So let me breathe before I hurt somebody. Mm. <laughs> all right, you all know how it goes when you have issues in your family. They, they have their own shit and they bring it to you and you got to fix everything, which is problems, whether it's with the wife, the child, other family members. Anyways, long story short, you know how that goes. Everybody has problems and fucking crazy people in their family, but we get over it, we find a way around it, and that's why I'm making this video because today, finally, no one drove me crazy and no one's at my house so I could actually get this video done. All right, sorry for going so long. Love you all, my YouTube family. Don't forget to comment, thumbs up, subscribe. Love you all. <laughs> Take care, bye-bye, until -bye. tomorrow. Oh, wait, and tomorrow, check it out. I am going to make a video tomorrow about pre-workouts now to tell you all about this, this new warning sticker. It's not new, but it's been on some pre-workouts, but you're going to see this warning sticker about a disease that now that you can catch. Now, it's called could, should, maybe, but it's the warning's going to be on there. This is a bad disease. If you get this from pre-workouts, you're very going to be upset. So that'll be my video tomorrow about the warning stickers that now that will be popping up on a lot of pre-workouts now. And we're going to have to deal with it. either that or just don't take those pre-workouts that have this warning on it because this is going to be scary because if, if you're taking this one with the warning on it, you might be going into trouble. So I'll reveal that tomorrow. Love you all. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>